Hello, my name is David Tavares. I'm the lead game designer for Vampire Absolution, an entry for Vampire Jam. This is Elderwood, the city which Vampire Absolution takes place. Uh, this character is Juan. He's one of the three playable characters. Uh, he is Tremere, uh, very adept with blood sorcery. Um, if you see in the background, there's someone running around that is a hunter. He's not a very good hunter. He doesn't know how to fight vampires. But he doesn't know how to find them. Uh, well, that was perfectly timed. He ran right up to me. I haven't developed the concept bat system yet, but there is a stealth system, and I failed my stealth because I was standing right in the light. Had I been sneaking, and he didn't, he might not have been able to find me. Eventually, I'll be able to kill him. But since I don't have the combat system developed yet, uh, using powers like Blood Cauldron are currently harmless. But they're still in the game. This is done in Unreal Engine 5, that's why the uh, graphics are actually pretty nice. There's running and jumping, these are all animations that I've customized. Uh, Juan is made from a uh, make human, uh, that's a very cool little piece of technology that I utilize to uh, custom create him. You see if I run around enough, I should be able to lose the hunter. He's just got me a uh, line of sight, that's all. But if I hide around a corner, yep, he's going to go away. He can't see me anymore. But don't worry, uh, he'll be fighting you in the game. If you notice, there's bushes in the street. Um, this is just for demonstration. There's not going to be bushes in the street in the final version. Uh, you can pick them up. There are lootable items in this game. Uh, you will have an inventory as well. Uh, tab is the inventory. Uh, there'll be a whole tutorial on what buttons do what. This will be, not be a confusing game whatsoever. Um, right now there is no sound. Um, however, we w do have a bunch of voice actors that have already handed in uh, some great dialogue, some voiceover work for characters. Uh, this will be a third person RPG. So you'll be able to not just uh, fight and kill hunters, but uh, have dialogue with uh, the denizens of the city and the kindred, of course that are around. Uh, and there'll be little things like notes. Most of them won't be randomly in the street like this. Uh, I think you probably did hear that sound effect. It's a nice paper. Drop, pick it up. There's also a sound effect here when you open the door. This will be the convenience store, the uh, main shop in the game. There's gonna be a lot of mysteries and quests to do. Uh, I guess actually I shouldn't say a lot. It's a just a small demo length uh, thing since this is a jam after all. Uh, there is going to be dialogue. I don't have dialogue in the game quite yet, but this is going to be the frame you're going to have during dialogue. Uh, right now this is just the Unreal Engine robot, not one of the real skins that I'll be using for the game. Um, but I do have samples of what it will look like. If you bear with me one second. So this is another game that I've developed, um, Autonic Parlor Games. I do have this dialogue sim system implemented here using Unreal Engine and behavior trees. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, this is a free asset from the store. Maxwell, join us on the set. Who, who's yes. talking? Not Maxwell, but as you can see, there's dialogue choices. You can click, and he'll respond. We have some wonderful tales in store this evening. In a giant Victorian home built in 1904. So you can answer your questions. Maxwell, join us on the settee. Um, but if you noticed, his mouth wasn't moving. Um, that's because that was just a, a static mesh character. Um, Hakeem here, however, uh, this is something else that I did for a another competition. Um, I will try to utilize this technology since he's also a, a make uh, um, a metahuman. Uh, this. Uh, dialogue uh, was pulled from what we do in the shadows. It's actually Mark Hamill speaking. Uh, so let's see. You took me for a fool who stindled me. I have spent 167 years searching for you, and now, ho, 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 satisfaction will be mine. So I animated that, and I will try to implement that same technology for Vampire Absolution when you go through dialogue. Um, 
that's something to look forward to. Also, there's a intriguing story involving the prince going mad and becoming a white, um, you having to track them down, um, and uh, some intrigue, of course, as always, with the kindred of the city. Um, let me give you a quick overview of what the city looks like. You've got the chapel. This is going to be the starting area. There's going to be a graveyard down here. Um, then you get right into the juxtaposition of a downtrodden part of uh, downtown. Lots of uh, graffiti. Um, again, your 24-7 convenience store is going to be the main store. Um, there's going to be a jazz club over here. Uh, this will be a park uh, in front of this bank. Um, I'm going to have to put in a lot more uh, lighting right now. You see there's no lampposts or anything, so the city will look more alive, especially when there's people walking the streets, people that you can feed and prey upon, um, and vampires lurking around every corner for you to have interesting dialogue with. And that's it. Uh, please um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments or like uh, tips and tricks, um, let me know. Uh, I'm happy to hear it all. Uh, thank you. Until next time.